super fun. I'm going to show you how to make homemade bath bombs. They're really fun to make and they're great to do for presents too. So um, we're going to do a few different flavours. I've got some lavender ones here and some rose and also some orange. So I'm going to show you how to make them. So I've got 100 grams of bicarbonate of soda, 50 grams of citric acid, 25 grams of corn flour and 25 grams of Epsom salts. So 30 grams of coconut oil, some lavender essence, some dried lavender and some food colouring. The other thing to mention is you're going to need something to set them in and make them in. So you can use lots of things like um, packaging from Easter eggs if you've got small ones or Christmas decoration packaging. I've got some silicone moulds here. Um, you can also use ice tube trays or even the mini yoghurt pots, they work as well. Okay, so let's get started. Now this is a bit of a scientific experiment. So you do have to be careful when making these because bicarbonate of soda and citric acid, when they are dry, um, they're inert. So they, you can mix them together and nothing happens. But once you add water, they will start to explode and fizz everywhere. So you have to be really careful on how you mix this. So there's my bicarbonate soda, and I'm just gonna dump in everything. So that in goes the citric acid, and the corn flour, and that helps to kind of bind it all together really. Make sure I'm getting everything off of that plate. So that will hold it all together in a clump. And then the Epsom salts. Now this is really lovely for muscle relaxation. So you can just buy that in the supermarket. And the citric acid, you can pick that up easily online or also at your pharmacist. So that's all my dry powder in there. So with a whisk, I'm just gonna sort of whisk it through really well. There might be your little lump of powder. So I'm just making sure that's completely combined before I start to add any of the liquid. So that's ready to go. So put that to one side. So I, I melted some coconut oil because I love coconut oil. When I'm having my bath, it's lovely. It's sort of um, oil that your skin really soaks in, your skin and hair, but you can use any oil you like. So to that, I'm gonna add my lavender oil. So just put a good few drops into there. And it's really strong, so you don't need a huge amount. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon's worth. And a little bit of food coloring. So I'm just gonna squeeze in a few drops of purple. And this is um, a liquid food colouring, so it's not going to really, really mix with the oil. But I'm just going to kind of distribute it a bit. And then once it gets into the powder, it will start to kind of colour everything up. But you can see it's kind of not mixing. The oil and water doesn't like each other. So you get lots of tiny, tiny droplets just floating around in that oil. OK, so now I'm going to start to mix them in. So you do need to do it really slowly, just gradually. Don't rush it. So I'm just going to put literally a few drops in there like that. Just a few, just... And then get my whisk and just whisk it through. And you'll see it'll be lumpy to start with. I'm just going to keep going until they get bashed into the powder so they go a bit finer. So continue to add this just very slowly until I've got all of the oil incorporated. and um, it's starting to kind of be able to be packed together. You can see you can push it together. And I'm going to put my hand in and kind of um, mix it together and put it into my moulds. So I'm just going to damp my hand, but before I do that, I'm going to add some of my dry lavender. So I'm just going to put a few lavender flowers in the bottom. So I think that looks really pretty once they've set inside the bath bomb. And then when you put them in the bath, they're going to float all around the bath and be really pretty. I'm just and mix this together. So I'm only going to very just just lightly dampen my hand, and that's that's all you need. So I'm just going to squish it. So this is really fun. 
push it together. Just kind of make sure that you really mix that round. You don't want it to be too wet, otherwise you're gonna have the problem where the bicarbonate of soda and the citric acid is gonna activate. You wanna save that for bath time. You don't want that to happen now. You can see it's kind of like kind of damp sand. And it's not wet, but just, just ever so slightly damp. It just feels a bit cold. So now I'm just gonna put it into my mold, just divide it equally. And now all you need to do is just squish it down, just to kind of compact everything together so it will set like a solid lump. So I've used quite a bit of pressure just to push it into the moulds. So to create the other fragrances, um, I just did exactly the same thing, but with different flavours. So I used some lovely rose oil and some mandarin oil. And I've got some dried rose petals here, which I used. Here we go. So they're really lovely. You can just pick these up in the supermarket. Um, so I'll show you how to get them out of the moulds. So just simply just turn them over like that. And just lift the mould away. And that's really pretty, look at all the orange in there. And then for the rose one, just turn it over. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm gonna um, activate one in this water. So it's really, really fun. So have a look and watch what happens when this hits the water. Let's use one of our lavender bombs. Ready? So look at that fizzing away, can you hear it? I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you make your own. And if you do, share your pictures and use the hashtag stay home, get cooking. Bye.